Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Bell and welcome to the channel. As you can see here we have a rotor spinning. It has 12 neodymium magnets, but none of that's the cool part. I mean the magnets on the rotor are pretty cool, but the magnets underneath the rotor are even better. And no it's not, as you can see, my typical disc that I build. They're really cool. I mean, I don't see them anywhere else and they work, so it's pretty neat. But right there we've got two donut ferrite magnets. And you can see a little space between them. We got the top rotor resting on the top one. And then the bottom when I put that wood disc down there to, to flatten out the surface so it wouldn't be as bouncy. Yeah, but that's been spinning for like three minutes. Good job. It's gonna get going on its own. That's awesome. I like it. See, it's it's elevated quite a bit <clears throat> on the coils. The rotor is higher than the center of the coil. But uh, it's all right, it works anyway. Now, it would probably <clears throat> get going faster, faster if it was a little lower, but that's all right. Or we could raise the coils, you know, if the coils were just a little bit more centered, it'd have a little bit more get up and go. But I think that's really cool. And then that, because it's just resting on that ferrite magnet, all of this, I got the, see the, the cool, the, the innovative part is what you do to get those, mag, those ferrite magnets to stay centered. What I use is an acrylic disc with magnet on it like like my uh, <clears throat> my other type disc. So there's magnets going all the way around the diameter. The circumference. Yeah, the circumference. So they go all the way around, kind of like that, that one right there. And then uh, you just attach the ferrite magnet to that magnet and it has a center hole on the disc so it's nice and centered four inch magnet four inch disc nice and centered and then you guys do another one and you got to your top disc and really all it is doing is resting the rotor is resting <clears throat> on that top disc Well, it's not going very fast, which is okay. Nothing's lined up. It's, it's good that it's moving at all. I'm going to cut it. Look at that, man. That That is like exactly what you want out of a coast. We're gonna count all, all the motion. Let's take a gander underneath. I 
Let me try and get a close up here. See, that's pretty stable. Just rest in there. And this, allowing for the spin to continue like that is just, it's nice. I got some graphite lube on the disc center hole since it's a quarter inch to a quarter inch. You could get a little bit more friction than you want, so I do some graphite on it. And then if that second circuit is even working, it's not going to take very much voltage to uh, pump that along, considering how, how little friction there is. Coming up on two minutes. It is definitely slowing down, of course. We weren't hoping for anything less than that. And right now that shaft is just kind of chilling there. It's not bolting down or anything. Probably want to do that. Find out where I want it for real and then bolt it down. It's pretty close where it is now. But only bolt it down from the bottom. See? And then on the top you can be flat on the top. You won't have that little nipple. All right, so virtually like three minutes of coast time with that disc in there is pretty good. And it's weight. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Now the bearings in the, in the rotor might be getting a little chewed up though. One more run. Yeah, it's only hitting like every couple magnets all right I'm gonna get something to prop it up on and I'll be right back all right look at this I propped it up on the screwdriver precision screwdriver set oh we got some speed on that now Ooh. See, it's going counterclockwise. It looks like it's going clockwise. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're gonna have to bolt that down. That could get going really, really fast. Really, really fast. But, as you can see, the shaft is kind of wobbling around there and just kind of flopping in the wind. It's not strong at the moment. The shaft is not strong. And what I want to do is I want to get 
that on the table. Maybe just remove this whole thing, this brown thing with the wood and the elevation, and just separate the tables a little bit and have so I can like even get underneath the table and adjust stuff more easily. Well, I could probably do that with this too. You know what? Maybe I will do that. But this wood is warped, so I do want to change it out. Thank you very much. Peace out. Have a good night.